Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron for using the By Blood Alone DLC for the game in which we're playing as supposedly historical Italy. We'll try to go as historical as we can until things get really wonky. Um, but yeah, this is my first real raw run of trying to play um, Hearts of Iron 4 Italy with the new, at the time of the recording, latest DLC. Um, so finally, it's not 2016, we have a unique focus for Italy. Finally, thank God, but Ethiopian war logistics. From a lack of progress in Ethiopia, it's become clear that we have underestimated how many supplies the modern army really needs. We must make a dedicated effort to improve roads and ports in our holdings in Asia, Africa to allow the necessary supplies to reach the front. And, uh, hey, army primacy. In the last and final instance, a war is won by putting soldiers on enemy soil and taking the things the enemy needs to wage war. While the Navy and Air Force are doubtlessly useful organizations, it's the army that will win the war. And I like power projection because you do get two naval bases too for 35 day focus. Following the legacy of our ancestors, we must ensure that we have the necessary industry to develop a formidable naval force capable of maintaining Italian supremacy in the Mediterranean over any other navy. And we will do solid progress because we're going to go historical for now, even though we probably will take out Ethiopia, or definitely Ethiopia, but probably Yugoslavia early. We've been making steady progress in Ethiopia without overextending our lines or exposing our forces to Ethiopian counterattacks. While well, victory has not been yet achieved, it's only a matter of time. But like I did say earlier, um, I purchased this DLC myself. I, you know, Paradox didn't give me DLC early or anything like that, so. I purchased it myself, just like you guys would if you uh, are interested in the DLC. So we'll see what happens. We have our planes, hopefully, gunning and running already. And I will need to understand and learn how to work with this new Air Force system. But we are in a time crunch because the Second Italo Ethiopian War. The League of Nations has so far failed to take action against us, only offering symbolic oh, uh, opposition to our conquest of Ethiopia. But the longer the conflict drags out and the more regular troops we commit, the greater the risk that they will actually start to send in, or meddle in our affairs. We must finish this warp before Hale Selassie manages to convince the League of Nations to take action. And I will let you know, I'm going to play Italy a lot, many times. I'm going to play Ethiopia a lot, and I think the Swiss got a focus too, so it plays them a lot too. So, um, 108 days, withdraw from Ethiopia. Excuse me, withdraw from Ethiopia, probably not. Now, when we play Ethiopia, hopefully that'll happen, but the mission from El Duce. El Duce has big plans to bring the proud Italian nation to its rightful place. To fulfill his vision of a greater Italy, he's issuing the pertinent orders that he trusts will be carried out in a timely manner. And the Christmas Offensive. Our troops have stalled in the war against Abyssinia, and even been pushed back in certain places. This Christmas Offensive has Mussolini privately berating the military high command for their incompetencies. The Duce wants the results now. He has therefore authorized any means necessary to repel the Abyssinians and to end this war swiftly, whatever it takes. By any means necessary, escalate stuff. More, 15% more attacks, that's very strong. Uh, enemy air support, uh, we will need to be methodical and deliberate. Better supply consumption. Nah, no, we're gonna go. 15% more is nothing to laugh at. And we're gonna get over one political power a day, that's pretty nice actually. That's pretty darn nice, so. Um, in the meantime, we're just kinda hanging out. We wanna build some civvies, we wanna do some of the good stuff there. Uh, get cheetah naval trees if we really want to. We're currently below 50% of them, success in North. Ethiopia. Mussolini is nothing but praising matter admiration for the armies in northern Abyssinia and their success in pushing back their fierce opponents. He, of course, never doubted the prowess of our soldiers as long as they got the right motivation from their duchy and tools to prevail. We have them on the run now. So I don't even know like who his ministers are and whatnot. Political advisors, oh my goodness. Dino Grandi. Daily fascism, more resistance to K-speed. Obey, believe, obey, fight. Because I like political power. I love political power. I am a big sucker for political power. Um, that's not bad either. Prince of Terror. Do we still have a workhorse? Yeah, yes we do. But we're going to be fascist and utilize the black shirts. So. I'll probably go with that just so we can ramp up our PP gain. Because we love PP here. Uh, Army primacy? Yes. Helps reduce the cost of land which is very nice as well. Uh, oh. I was sure I really to. But the town to deal with the Sultan of Alsa. Mohammed Yayo, the Sultan of the Sultanate of Alsa, has long been for a long time under the strong Italian influence. Just like during the last war, he's remained neutral despite formerly being part of the Ethiopian Empire. In fact, the only reason that the Sultan still has power is due to Italian goodwill. The country may have sold its coast on Italy, but it's still an obs obstacle to our conquest. The capture of Tigre may be enough to convince the Sultan to surrender the rest of his lands. Do the Sultanate later? Now it's not the time. I don't want to lose anything. They'll probably say yes, because we did get uh, stuff here, so. They fold. Sultanate of Alsa submits to Italian demands. They chose wisely. The Sultanate of Alsa has accepted our demands. Let us use Afar lands as the base of operations against Ethiopia. This effectively ends the independence of the Sultanate of Alsa. That's good. Let's move in and occupy the lands. Yay! More lands to work with. Yay! What do we have done here? Anything different? Defense, organization. That's plus 0.2 every day. There's not much extra organization, but that's not bad overall. That's really not bad. Ah, uh, let's see what they want to do here. 
We don't have a lot of divisions down here, but we'll still get them, I'm, I'm sure. I'm not super concerned about it. You get some of these guys down here, too. Um, here. Head down there. See what we can do. Casualties, 3,000, 22,000. Not bad so far. You know, I'm not super concerned. I and mean, this is just a test run for everything, too, so. We'll see. Get another transition of the Rhineland. That's fine. Get more guns. Get more trucks. You know, all the good stuff. Um, a pre preserve army traditions. It's not bad. And we have some na pretty nasty stuff here, too, for national spirits. And we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm as well. Bandits War. I like that one. Seems interesting, but... Oh, it's interesting, too. Moschettieri... Moschettieri del Duce. Interesting. Army leaders. That's not bad. Uh, super... Super Esercito. Italian tankettes. Well, that's not bad, too. Italian highways. I do want to do this stuff, because this also prevents... Reduces the chance of suffering historical aircraft accidents killing characters. Air innovations. The war in the air has become one of the most decisive fields of modern warfare. We can allow ourselves to fall behind in this crucial area. Read me that just I feel like I'm playing like the AI now. We're just kind of just attacking whenever, wherever we can. Which does kind of suck. Supply does suck really badly here. But of course we don't have supplies through here, which is not good. Um, we can take this tile. That would be El Grande. I want you guys to stop attacking uh, here. It is a little hard to see. Grand Battle Plan is not bad. You know, we'll continue with it, just because even though I like superior firepower, um, we're, we're trying to go slightly historical here, so... I want you guys to do that. We're going to focus down here first. Oh. Just wait real quick. Wait. Take more territory first. Exert heroism, huh? And although the death toll rises, people must be taught that only battle, only in battle are heroes forged. The shield having division reaches a certain defensive bonus total. Okay. Well, how do you get rid of this? A right click, maybe? Maybe, maybe the right click. Okay, that'd be nice. And, and. Another attack when they're exhausted. Be good, that'd be good. I'm not really too super concerned. Nice. War escalation success in South Africa. Or Ethiopia. Overjoyed by losing gains in Southern Abyssinia. Mussolini applauds the brave of the Italian troops and their dedication to put an end to this conflict. He never had any misgivings and fully trusted our armies to do the best of, to best the enemies on the battlefield. Once they got the proper support from the Luce, we pushed the enemy back. Nice. Solid progress. Alright, alright. Uh Servizio Informazioni Militaire. Our military requires accurate information to plan its operations. For this, we need a central organization that gathers and analyzes this information, as well as takes offensive actions against select targets if necessary. Proclaim great. It'll be nice. Yeah. We haven't failed anything yet. Give me time. You actually just might be able to take that right there. Over here, infantry expert. Sure, get more attack. Why not? Because you can. Because you deserve it, probably. I'd like to attack here, but it's fucking pretty risky. Oh, can we not choose anybody yet? Oh, we still have these people here, too. I just want the extra political power first. That's a lot of PP, man. That is a lot of PP. Is that all we need? No, it's not. They're attacking us, which is fine. Grind some more army XP, whatever. And... We have four divisions there, four divisions there. A couple divisions right here, too. We have to support the attack. We'll go in. See what you can do. See what you can muster up. They're looking pretty weak. Pretty bad overall. Nice. So after that one, Triumph in Africa. The shame of Adwa has been wiped out. Some 40 years after the humiliation we've suffered at the hands of the Ethiopians, we've gone, finally gotten our revenge. Our forces have proven their ability beyond any doubt, and all the, world, all the world must now acknowledge our might. As we will get there. I guess we should get here, and we can cut these guys off. That'd be nice. Ah, Hail Selassie refuses to surrender. Despite the capitulation of the Ethiopian forces, Haile Selassie refuses to surrender. Rumor has it he's been allowed to set up a government in the exile in the UK. A formal protest has been issued to the British government. The power struggle continues. Italy will technically continue to be a war with the exile government of Ethiopia until Ethiopia, Ethiopia no longer owns any states. Well, okay then. I 
You go to the war support, I guess. Base value, prior to the fleet, weekly casualties, war support. Hmm. Oh, not bad. And we will edit a lot of these divisions here too, so. Some of these divisions will need to be re-edited and whatnot. So, yeah. In this meantime, we made a couple of ships. Maybe it's not gonna be great. We're gonna have like no fuel. But that's okay. Because I want a lot of naval XP. Pass by Ethiopia. The DJ has publicly declared how the Abyssinians are crushed and on the run will be broken after their defeat. Probably though he curses the Abyssinians for their resilience and defiance towards the Italian rule. The DJ has or given the order to crack down on local opposition with brute force and to institute laws to keep the population in check. He wants the entire country pacified and brought into the Italian fold as soon as possible. He will bring peace and stability. Pacify them. Uh, give the order to crack down on Abyssinian opposition with brute force and institute laws to keep the population in check. So, that's good. How do we do this? Have all initial Ethiopian states of greater compliance on uh, over 60 Nikes percent. Holy crap, 60 percent. That's a lot of percent. Yeah, but you know what I love? How fast the mod, the game, the mod. It's not even a mod. It's a game. Uh, how fast it moves. So this would be good. Ah, it starts with 35% towards Benito Mussolini. Okay. You know, I don't think I'm gonna cheat on the treaties for now. I think we're okay. Uh, decreases war escalation. Devalue the lira. Lira. Oh, the new emperor of Ethiopia. Discredit him. Oh, that'd be good to do as well. Convene the Grand Council. Dispose him. Because I do want to do foreign affairs pretty quickly. I do want to do Balkan ambitions and get to Pact of Steel like pretty freaking quickly. So, foreign affairs. Every great power needs to set clear foreign policy goals as well as having Italian people trained to conduct diplomacy in such a way as to achieve those goals. Spain, we don't care about Spain for now. We want to focus on ourselves. Right, right. We do want to get down to there. We got a lot of PP though. It's pretty nice. War economy? Sure, why not? Nice. Francesco de Martini. Or Paolo Caccia Domin Dominioni. I'll go with you. All right. Nice. Now we'll do a Coltel del Duce. That's not bad, towards the side of Benito Mussolini. So we get this guy. Gian Galesio Siano, political power, plus 5%. When higher, the national balance of power moves 15% towards the Grand Council of Fascism. Ah! Benito. Okay. Consolidate the power. So, if we're over here. This is different. I like this. We're over here now. Political power, stability, war sport. Oh, you lose army XP every single day when you get up here? Dictatorial rule? Oh my god. First has a war effort. Take over Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Education. Praise the Navy. Interesting. And I like this. It's very unique. I like it. I like it a lot. You're going to like the way you look. Resistance in Ethiopia, of course. Uh, our troops continue to tear through the Ethiopian forces, making way for our superior rule, but we are seeing an increase in resistance activity across the new dominion. It seems the word of the former ruler, Hale Selassie, speaking to the League of Nations, has stirred many of our new subjects into a frenzy. It seems that so long as their emperor lives, resistance will be a thorn in the side of a colonial administration. They'll submit to our rule one way or another. That sucks. Ah... Complete focus, develop Ethiopia. Give more compliance. Oh, that'd be nice. We have a lot to invest in here. It's going to be a drain on our economy and whatnot, but whatever. Whatever. Alright, so you guys are up here, right? I want to say, screw it, just come down here. Base game moves relatively quickly, so. Not super concerned. Alright. It's 
So let's get through this one. And we'll grab this guy, maybe. Damage garrison goes down. I would like some more daily army XP gain and stuff like that too, though. Political power's not bad. Political power stability's alright. And we can also use these guys up put down resistance here as well. So that'd be nice. All right, I'm going to do Balkan ambitions. So I'm to expand the Italian borders east towards Slovenia and more importantly, the Dalmatian coast. We'll emphasize the Venetian culture heritage of Dalmatia and make the world see how the Venetian government was not only beneficial to the Dalmatians in the past, but also very much accepted by them. Um, a bandit's war, yeah, not gonna go that way. You can't do that guy. Point three army speed, god dang. Um. Yeah, I'll probably go with this guy. Is there anything else we really want here? Doesn't really look like it too much. That's not bad. Um, back from backstab or captain of industry is not bad either. I do like that too. I do like my Prince of Terrors though. Um, that's not bad either. More output. But as it does lower damage garrisons. Um, so we're not going to go this way, obviously. We're going to go this way. Uh, let's see. This guy. Political power, research speed, stability. Towards Grand Council of Fascism. I think you get him anyways. Towards the Grand Council of Fascism no matter what. So. 5% more, why not? We're going to grab this guy. Right, that helps get less damage to garrisons. Screw it, we'll do it, why not? Give me this guy. Plus 0.2. Oh, that's good to get two more attack and defense. Be nice. We can use more political power, which we can get right now. Really focus on the army XP. So we're here. We need to go there. Nice. Interesting. So now we get 1.86, which is pretty decent. Not gonna lie, that's pretty decent. We want act wait, we want active mission? Oh yeah, let's pass by Ethiopia duh. I love El Duce. I have and always will love El Duce. Praise the army. Let's praise the army. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Hold a military parade? Sure. Why not? Nice. Alright, so we got that one done. We'll see what this does. We'll probably do Pact of Steel, but we can definitely wait on that. Um. Albanian occupation, if they accept. Yeah, that's not bad. Victor Emmanuel III gets more day compliance. We do want that. Okay, King of Albania? That'd be nice. Albania paints an easy target for troops to occupy. We're unlikely to be met with much resistance. We must show the role of the might of the Italy and restore the glory of the past. I know that's not very historical, but oh well. National Spirits, Victor Emmanuel III. Victoria Mutitalia. London Naval Treaty Signatory. Servizio Reconstruzione Italiana. Military industry is garbage. Regio Esercito, not good. Regia Aeronautica, not very good either. Regia Marina. Oh, we need to send ultimatum to them, because I do want to. Oh, we need some political power. With an ultimatum, we'll put pressure on the Yugoslavian government to give in to our demands. Yeah, that'd be good. Their army's not very good. And we have to start showing some of the stuff up, because these colonial divisions, they're not that great. Though our normal infantry divisions are not great either. At least go 18 combo with here. Not yours would be nice, but whatever. Let's make them a little thicker. They yield. The Albanian authorities have agreed to our demands, and King Zog has been forced to resign. From now on until the end of time, Albania shall be Italian. A glorious day. Oh, this one too, the new emperor of Ethiopia. The people of Ethiopia have lived under an emperor for centuries. It would undoubtedly it would doubtlessly make our task far simpler if we could just present them with a new emperor to replace their old one by crowning our king as new emperor. And also before we do that, let's get this one done too. Yeah. Establish Regno d'Albania. Kosovo becomes core. Oh, becomes Rex Protectorate. Um, I kind of want to own them myself, but influx of Italian settlers. We do have to cover that area too, so maybe I'll actually send you guys out. Go back here. But in the meantime, um, uh, new the open empire.
Aim for a fighter, that's not bad. You want for subs, huh? No. How much fuel do we get? Daily gain 163, that's not pretty good, is it? Let's at least get one thing of fuel. Because, my god, we're going to need it. Any one. They refuse, of course. Our attempts to solve the outstanding issues with Yugoslavia diplomatically has seemed to have failed. Uh, with our ambassador called on Prince Paul for another round of negotiations, he was brusquely told that the Yugoslavian he had made their position clear, and now there are no further things to discuss. I push it further. Let's see what happens. Oh, we can't go to war with them because of that. Oh, I wanted to go to war with them. My bad. Or we can wait. How long do we have this for? Well, we can't go to war with them yet. Yeah, my bad. I thought that we could for some reason. Oh, look at this. That's nice. Yeah, you guys wait. You guys just wait. My bad. My bad. For some reason, I thought we could do that too. Um, let's wait. Now we'll establish this too, because we can. How long do we have this until? Until the end of time. So, not bad. Good, good war them now. We can wait, though. Let's find a wait. I do that too. Not bad. I do like this too. They they made this much simpler to see and look at, so it's much nicer doing it like this. Gotta grab that, because you can. 1840, so it's almost 57. Go bad, anyways. It's fine. Build, 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 build. In the meantime, let's go help all Spain. They probably don't honestly need us, but whatever. Three divisions, eh? Also, these tanks are not very good. They're very bad. How many guys can we send? Two. Really? Just two? Anti communist turn back. German proposes that we sign a pact to address the communist turn's goal of spreading communism worldwide, although, through the use of subversion and violence, by signing this pact, we agree to share the intelligence on the communist threat and act in close cooperation against the menace. Of course. Uh, ah, we more average compliance. Oh, Topo Amaro rulers. Huh. Alright. Ooh. Liberate Gramsci. Well, I think we'll be okay without him, so. Let's ban their own flying school. With the growing complexity of modern plans and comes to an increased risk of accidents of pilots that are insufficiently trained, we must ensure that our flying schools keep pace with technological or technical developments in terms of training quality as well as keeping pace with the demand of new pilots caused by our growing military. Discredit him? Yeah. By informing the Ethiopian child, Heo Selassie ran away like a coward and is indulging in a decadent lifestyle in the country of far away. We might be able to sway some people to our cause and hurt the former emperor's reputation. All about that compliance, man. 20% not much. Ooh, also, do we get anything else here? Um, Ethiopia. Civilian oversight. Yeah, no, nothing there. So after this one, um, because I, I don't know if we're doing this right. Italian highways. The ancient Romans built roads that were the envy of the entire world. Now the upstart Germans believe that their autobahn is far superior than anything we could build. I'm going to prove them wrong. And uh, Corpo de Truppa Volontair. Spain is in the midst of a civil war which will determine whether it will be a future fasc possible fascist ally or remain a useless republic. Or worse yet, fall to communism or anarchy. Let's provide support to the true Spanish before it's too late. Yeah, totally. Um, where are they? Not a lot of hills. There's a lot of hills here in Spain. Ciudad Real. Two artillery's nice. It's almost 37. Got some more construction speed. Obviously, I'm not playing this optimally, but whatever. Political actions, any democratic stuff, whatever. Um, develop Ethiopia, put down the boot. Industrialization program for Italy to truly flourish to do chase the plan to expand our production capabilities. To accomplish this vision of a prospering nation, we need more factors that can sustain the growth of our bustling empire. Oh, we can do that.
that definitely. I'll do it anyways. We lost a factory board. Over. There now are puppet. Uh, sure, we'll use our guns, even though that doesn't help us. Do you have a unique focus tree? No, why don't they have a unique focus tree? They're part of the DLC. They should have one. Hello. Uh, oh, you're by yourself. Whatever. No one cares. And I'm gonna chug, 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 chug up there. Light tanks. You guys actually take these guys out or what? Maybe. Maybe not. How about Southern Iberia? Because you can. Claim the Montenegrin throne. I can try, see what that's like. Yugoslavia refuses to hand over uh, the Montenegrin throne. Prince Balls announced that they will seek no further diplomatic relations with us and that we need to revoke a claim to the Montenegrin throne at once. Unforgivable, unacceptable, deplorable. Well, alright then. Uh, this is not historical, is it? Oh well. Let him struggle. It's fine. Italian highways, Ministry of Italian, yeah, Africa. The various tribes and people of Africa cannot be handled like we might deal with other subject people. Administering these areas require a different approach. And let them get as much army XP as possible. I would love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. How many tanks are we out? 65, that's not bad. We need more, way more guns though, my god. Force and defense, I like it. Hmm. Two military factories. 35 day focus. I do want to get down here. Railway innovations are not bad. It's not bad either. It's not bad too. I do want another research slot. Power plants internally, steel industries internally. Develop Eritrea. Regional development. Well, right away, innovations. I want to race down here. That seems kind of like a nice thing to do. Because I do want more civvies, so... You know, this would be better to do. Railway innovations. Even in the age of the automobile, a strong railway network is still the backbone of a strong economy. Further expansion of the railways in Italy set us up for future growth. Paramilitary training, we could. We really wanted to, but we're not... Grand Battle Plan. Um, 150 PP was a lot. Colonial Police. <clears throat> Is that political power well spent or get invested into here? I'd rather spend it, invest in what we have right now. 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. Point. That seems really good. XP gain? Experience gain? I want Italo Balbo. Colonial Police. Our colonial possessions have grown considerably ever since the formation of our nation. Less than a century ago, the growth has started to strain our manpower. However, there are ways to alleviate these limitations through by local police. Forces such as Mehartistis, Savari, Spahi, and others recruiting these. Goods would be less taxing on our own person they have the benefit of being native to the land with all that entails. We have other plans. Slightly less colonial, uh, less compliance, but... Change our front form, Sinnenberg disaster. Join all those groups, which is fine, whatever. A point three is insane. That at all adds up eventually. Neutrality Act. Develop Ethiopia. So for that one, then what? Oh, so I can do. Oh, develop Somalia, Ethiopia? Oh, we could. I guess it just depends on how much we really want to invest. Our army will be fine for whatever. Navy, maybe not so much. 
Koto del Duce. We need to Mussolini, conqueror of Africa. Uh, Avenger of Adwaz, without well, doubt the most important Italian statesman since the days of the Roman Emperor. He is the absolute pinnacle of the masculinity. Entirely without fear, we should. Ensure that every Italian knows that they should forever strive to become as similar to Mussolini as humanly possible. Um, successful industrialization program. The newly built factories have been hailed by Mussolini as the first step in modernization of the Italian industries. The Duce is well pleased with how this raises the production capacity of the country and how it will allow him to further his visions for Great Italy. First steps for greatness. It better be the first steps for greatness. It best be. Where's the government of Greece? Yeah, not really yet, no. If anything, grab some of this as well. It is 1937, everybody. Hope you're having a great new year. Grab some more, too. Are they still want to keep attacking us here. Let them learn. Let them learn. That's what I care about. Let them learn. Um, anyone else here? Listen, gentlemen. That's not bad. Better consumer goods, though. Now, that's pretty nice as well. Give us those better consumer goods. Nice. Good stuff. Pull. I don't even make that stuff anyways. Militia pulls, no. Construction two. Thirty-seven. So like better tanks would be nice. Kromelios grows in south of, south of Ethiopia. There are several reports of attacks against Italian forces in southern e uh, Ethiopia. An organization calling themselves the Black Lions are believed to be behind, be behind these attacks. Which I really want to do that one. Ow, Dylan first. Those insurgents suck. Naval power projection. I'm probably going to ignore that for now. Yeah. Koto del Duce is, of course, next. Oh, no. Yugoslavia is no longer guaranteed by France. And only by Romanians. Oh no! Oh no! What? Why? Why would anyone ever do that? That seems... Why? Why did they abandon them? Doesn't matter. We're gonna do that anyways. Even though we're still helping these guys out a whole bunch here. We've actually done really, really well getting a lot more compliance down here. So take a look here. It's roughly about 58-ish percent-ish in some areas. 40% right there, of course, but... We could train irregulars. Recruiting local force would be less taxing in our manpower. And they have the benefit of being near to the lands, but, you know, with the knowledge of the peoples and geography there, or disband irregulars. We've got no need for colonial regular troops any longer. Let's return to their homes or wherever they come from. So, But we're still trying to pacify them, and we're doing really well with it. So, If I can get Yugoslavia under us immediately, as well as Kingdom of Romania, I would be pretty happy. The end of the League of Nations. Sorry, Spain. Oh, yeah, I guess we were doing the other one. Whatever. End of the League of Nations. Mm, okay, then. Whatever. Hopefully we do okay here. Um, wait, I want you to not do that. I want you guys to really focus on going out here. A lot of you guys are not focused on taking these guys out, so. Um, no, you guys actually might be able to do something here, maybe. So, oh, we're still training, which is not ideal. And also, I did realize that we are training these guys here, too. Do that real quick. You got. I left my tanks here, which is a bad idea, but whatever. And so you should do okay. And with them doing force defense, like. We're not gonna die there, so it is what it is. I forgot about this guy. My bad. I don't think we can race anybody over there. My bad. Oh, we have no fuel too. Whatever. Land acquisition? No. Hey guys, welcome back. My bad. Yeah, you just get over there. You know, die. Just okay. well, of Zadar. Oh, any anyway, forces of seize control of Zadar, shocking Italians everywhere. The people were under the impression that the tide of war was in our favor, and at the very least would be soon. Well, it's definitely a setback. With good planning and fortitude, we'll surely reclaim it. We'll rise again. It's fine. Whatever. We did a lot of this, which is cool. Investments in Edison. Region development. Ooh, that's not bad. Get more daily compliance as well. Uh, investments in Europe, or Edison, I guess. Italy boasts the very first power plant in Europe and has always been on the forefront of technology. With an investment in Edison company, we can ensure that we remain in the lead. Which I'll get some more consumer goods, which I love. Savage Governor del Montenegro. Montenegro unit. So you guys are just down there to keep these guys at bay. We lost 20,000, but we killed off 36, which is not bad, especially as we continue to do this as well, so. Strength of the military, like the Roman Empire of the Old. Our burgeoning empire is stretching far and wide, needs a strong army to protect it from the hordes of barbarians just beyond the borders. Lazucci is confident that for Italy to contend with the other major powers, we need to be able to put strength behind our words, or no one will take us seriously. For Italy, strengthen the army, huh? Um, 
Takes out heroism. Uh, keep doing that for now. Uh, weekly war support from casualties. Not too much. I'm not super concerned. Ah. At least three quarters of a million in the map in the field. That's fine. These guys just aren't able to keep up with us. And it's a struggle to bust down here, but it just keeps keeps them all occupied down here. Especially if our horses are just going to move in and just takes off. So, especially and it's just a little slow over the rivers, but they guys going to move pretty fast. Hopefully, Belgrade. Good. Oh, they're doing force defense. Ah, split. That makes sense. It's pretty dangerous to do that, you know. We got a total mobilization target. We need more than eighty percent wars for a while. Uh, let's see, Bresca. I do like this one a lot, but you know, I like Beretta too. Strength in northern industry will improve the designer. Well, give you more manpower too. Let's get extensive first. Nice. Like the pink chassis happened in 1938, everybody. Could use a few more guns here and there, but whatever. What else is new? So we took Split, we took Belgrade. Why do we need that? Why do we need that? Well, uh, no, these guys are all cut off now, too. That's very nice. Hey, offense is the best defense. Over the course of two years, engage in twice as many offensive battles as defensive battles, along with a minimum of 100 battles. Cool. I guess I'll collect it. Why not? Uh, more guns. More guns are good. Improved light tank chassis. Uh, I mean, it's only a light tank. It's not worth that much. Improved small tank, I guess. Uh, I like radio, secondary turrets, special modules. It's not that expensive. Um, that's reliability a little bit, which is already very high. Hurts max speed, but more fuel capacity. It's not bad. Not really needed, though. Maybe you can do that. And cast armor. Well. No more speed. There you go. Improved lightning chassis. Why not? There you go. For now, you infantry specialists, we already have one. You guys, you know what? Go ambush because you can. Roughly 70 ish. It's eh, not bad, but still, trains are not that super expensive to make, anyways. You don't need that many of them either. Still, roughly two political power days, very nice. And then expand national universities. Oh, oh, that's a beast hill. Okay, it's like the many you want to take. Take state, liberate, puppet. Take navy. Take navy. Oh. Okay. Oh, these are their cores as well. Oh, they already took them. Right? No. I don't have Petterly Peace Conferences on, obviously, but still. Of demands. What's been at? Demand it. That's interesting. Um, Yugoslavia, Republic of Macedonia. Uh, no navy, of course. We might liberate some people, so. What else do we do here? Select all? Or. Addition demands, research rights, militarized zones, okay. Comic stern. Okay, there you go. Shield, military planner, cool. And expand national universities for technologically advanced nations such as ours. There's always a big need for more engineers. We've identified our universities as the biggest bottleneck for educating enough experts to keep our country competitive. 
Alright, so where are we at with this? 57%. Maybe that one, I guess. Or we can wait and do this one. We need development. Well, kind of surprised. Romania, okay, so Romania did go to war with us too, which is fine, whatever. Japan abandons the naval treaty. If you want to hear about that, please go right ahead. Credit him. Gets more compliance there immediately. Does that help us out here up here? Should. 2%, huh? That's in Edison, National Universities would be nice. 64%, 52 percent is not very good. 51, oh god, it's pretty bad. Yeah, we might not be able to get this immediately yet, which sucks. That's stupid. Um, uh, better guns, why not? Thank you. Garrisons, throw on some military police, yes. We've done a lot of resistance if we can. One day's left. Alright, so you guys are all stuck. Stuck where he knows. What if you did like this? Can we bait him into attacking us, maybe? Have you guys leave. There we go. Have a division reach a certain fence. Uh, bonus total. Oh, now you're forcing attack. I like it. Bait him to attacking us. Are you losing there, actually? For realsies? I do like that they're forcing it, but still. Sixty six, sixty seven. Oh, that's pretty bad down here. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get this, which sucks. Go on, fine. Um, screens are not bad to have. You're not super heavy. Rich defense plus four hundred percent. All right, that sounds very nice. Who's armor level three? That's different. It's kind of nice to have, actually. Instead of that, you gotta get anti sub stuff. Are you freaking kidding me? Set. Oh crap, what was it? No. No. There we go. Let him do it. Uh, actually. You can expand out that way, maybe. If we take this tile, that'd be great, but maybe we can't. We'll see. We will see. I don't think there's anything here we could really do. Oh, same military support to Japan would be kind of nice. Because we're at where we want to be already. Sure, we'll take that. Nice. We're slowly getting there. Meantime, can we throw on any more of these guys? No, we can't. No, bro, that sucks. Nice. Different Reich. Ethiopia services. God freaking dang it, I don't like this one. Abyssinia is still so nowhere near being pacified. And the resistance to Italian occupation is running stiff. The Duce has no kind of word for either Abyssinian people or the efforts to quell the opposition and calls for operation of a national embarrassment. He complains that the Italian colonists have a rough appearance and crude manners, which is not instilling any respect in the local population. Abyssinians are tougher than is expected. 
We should be able to do that again. I mean, in all honesty, we should be able to do that at least twice. Region development, prospect for oil. Well, we gotta keep focusing on other stuff. Think for that crap. Um, Cita del Ario. Our research efforts have long been spread across many different areas of the country. It's made things quite inefficient. We should combine our research efforts and found a sky city in which scientists and engineers from many different fields of study can work together to build a new generation of planes. But at the very least, we do have five things here, so that's nice. So at this point, I'm giving up on Ethiopia then, because there's no point to do it. And this, this you can never do this either. Expand colonial control, more compliance than 60%. We can never do that, so I'm not sure what we can do about that, so. Just dumb. Uh, throw heroism, we could. I do want to go to Italy, though. Okay, sure, why not? You guys are heavily lacking in a lot of stuff here. They are out of guns, probably like us. We do have enough of everything for now, right now, though. Gonna be a campaign unless we fail something. So we'll get these guys too, which would be kind of nice. Um, all that. Get rid of these two. Nice. Get you guys quite a bit of army XP before we have to actually go to war with anybody. You. Oh, it's all this. Heli air wing. Billy. There's priority, sure. Billy. How many have we lost? Almost that many. Quite a few guys. Quite a few. But they're out of stuff, so, like, bro, we should be able to take these guys out pretty easily. Doesn't have the fighting over rivers as well. And they're doing force defense. We should just help ruin them, right? In theory, right? More arty. Nice. More breakthroughs, good. More organizations, very good. Come on, come on. Breakthrough, yes. We can get this all done before World War II starts. So we put ourselves in a pretty good position. We're gonna do that investment portfolio. Nah, we're good. The Aria. Bombers. Well, Del Grano. Perlatera. I don't know. Del Grano. A uh, country cannot be considered truly greater, depends on other countries to feed it. Italy must be independent in the basic foodstuff if we want to be taken seriously. For this purpose, we must fight and fight as hard as we might fight in any other battle. Only through victory in the grain for battle for grain we can hope for victory in the war. La Battaglia per la Terra. The foundation of a strong fascist society is the land itself and the people who work it. There are so many areas in Italy where we can gain useful land by draining swamps and irrigating farmlands. I'm not sure which one we should want, though. Um, daily fashion support, military police garrisons, pact of steel. Our relationship with the Nazi Germany is troubled by ideological differences and conflicting aims. El Duce is extremely wary of German ambitions in Austria and the Balkans. However, realities do change. So. What if we were to hold? We lost quite a few guys already. Supplies are really bad. The processing is really good though. We need this tile. We need it like now. Should be able to take it though. Poyasti? Of course, this does put us in conflict with the Soviet Union, which is not ideal. But whatever. We could upgrade these guys, maybe. Trying small modules, floats. I have no idea whether this is, whether this is good or bad, but dive breaks. Electronics. Strap bombing. Strap bombing. So 
not less agility, more weight. More transport per frame of invasions per frame. So plus six if we do this one. You try it. I could be probably completely wrong here. Go for the capital. We need it bad, 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 badly. Fourth International. Agreement. Back to steel's good. Uh, treaty with Germany. German military occupation. Oh, yeah. Through the tight cooperation with the powerful German military, we can combine the best part of German efficiency and Italian innovation. We have a strategic advantage over anyone who dares face us. I don't want Germany involved. It's just us. Alright, so now that should put us in a very good position to just go and do this. I want you guys to force it. Screw it. Force it. No. Uh, political advisors. I feel like Princes of Terror. We're going to choose that one too. I forgot about my industry, god dang it. But we're just conquering a lot of industry as is anyway, so. Not super concerned about just making roads and whatnot. Support of the Hungarian Kingdom of Vojvodina. You know, we'll see. I could be playing this completely wrong. Let's get it done. Remember Balearic Islands? I haven't proven our support for Franco's new regime. We're in a position to request one of the important territories we fought to defend, the Balearic Islands. Do be seated at Italy to strengthen our strategic core of the Mediterranean. Great item, yeah. Nope. Really good for army XP. Mountaineer, nice. Move faster. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Learning on the job. Oh, we got him. Oh God, they want stuff too. Screenships will be divided among those who claim capital ships. The distribution of screenships is automatic and follows the ratio of capital ship and industrial cost. Well, let's do this. Hopefully, they don't take anything else, and we just do this. Yes. All. great, but I'll still take them. Nice. We're not looking too bad now. It was looking pretty A-OK. -okay. Not great. Not bad. But, you know, whatever. But I think I'm going to end it here because, I mean, there's still stuff we can learn and do and whatnot. So, um, let's do one more focus and then we'll do it. Uh, but in Portugal, maybe? It promotes Italian aerodentism? That'd probably be good to do as well. Better just fight World Goals time as well. Which is nice. Treat with Germany, though. Hmm. Pretty decent. We should ask Germans to exchange technological secrets for the benefits of both their great nations. Italian air dentism. Italian air dentism has long been increasingly aggressive after the Great War thanks to our fascist regime. It's time for Italy to reach its natural borders and unify all the territories that fight rightfully belong to the Italian people. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll see what else this DLC has to offer for a slightly historical Italy. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great fascist Italian El Duce Lion Tamer rest of your day.